forever. <laughs> Dog. You keep saying, let's do some CPT. What does that mean? You've said it two weeks wow. in a row. I don't know what wow. it means. Wow. Wow. Ableist. Elena, you heard it here first. I'm sorry. I don't wow. know what it means. Elena is ableist. She has forgotten. Ashley, Ashley, No, I'm relax. here to learn. I'm here to don't learn. Don't exert yourself too much. Just take a breath out. <laughs> Thank you. I, you're inspirational right CPT now, CPT is chronic pain talk. For oh, right. some people, Elena, oh, they right. have something called chronic pain. Some of us do have that. Yes. Mm, can you see it? <laughs> can you see it you want me to pull my pants down because i actually have something to show today whoa oh, whoa you should know that elena hates when we eat on pod well it's just it sounds like the audio is so high quality and i just num, can't num, 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 num. i can't do the chewing right in my ear elena neutralizing the last episode by wearing a white tank top this episode it's hot in here isn't it crazy that i've been waiting this in this shirt this whole week it's it's really weird how it's like every two weeks you change your shirt i like my shirt nice that's day. great that's great and i remember i've been thinking about it all week i want to know your updates <laughs> Hi everybody, it's a new it's a new week. It's a new episode. Welcome back. This is the Chosen Family Podcast. Thanks for being here. You're goddamn right it is. <laughs> We're Ooh. happy to have you. We're happy to be here. We are happy to be here. We are. Affirmative. I the, not last week, but the like the couple of weeks before, I was like feeling a bit weird. Um and oh, really? I Yeah, cuz I yeah. You seemed weird last week, I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird because i didn't feel weird last week i felt great last week I, oh, okay. I felt very similar last week to how i feel this week actually that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> no i was feeling a little weird like the ouch the time before that um wait oh so why i'm gonna talk about it on the patreon episode oh right right right, right. <laughs> which we're recording next after this which will yeah. only be available well, let for me our do patrons some cpt listen. let me do some cp oh wait this is oh. chosen family podcast you you little piece of shit. Welcome. <laughs> Do you feel like a lonely little orphan boy or girl or child? Well, that's because you're gay and you don't have a family. So that's but why now you come you do. here. I feel like we should be a little bit softer during No, Never. we adopted. We adopted the Just orphans. Just during June. We brought the orphans in. We've adopted them. Gay people deserve to be orphaned. And now you're here. because And you then adopted. <laughs> and then adopted. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're adopted by us after, then it's fine, I think. I think from the bottom of my heart that gay people are orphans. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> gay mm -hmm. people's parent. Oh, never mind. I can't anyway. Even I can't even do it. I can't. I'm, I'm your dad, to support Ashley the bit. Gavin. I'm your mom, Elena Joy. I'm your hot teenage brother, Mac. Baby. Baby. Mac and every is week, baby bear. <laughs> we sit around the family dinner table. And we catch up. Did you call me Baby Bear? Yeah, I did. And then we answer nice. your questions, because you don't have anyone to turn to <laughs> except this little screen here on the internet. Wow, I'm really... Damn, yeah, I'm, actually, I'm like, you've got no one to turn to but the three of us, which is like... Is pretty rough, because I'm not an expert in anything. Because we also, like, advocate for limited parasocial relationships, <laughs> yet here you are. And yet here you are. I'm a stand-up comedian. You should not take aside. any advice from me, but you should come to my live shows all across the United States, and I'll text you when they happen. Uh, but anyway, how, how are you guys since last week? I oh, built good. a bench for my patio. I built it with my hands. Hell yeah, you did. You're gonna show For us? my girlfriend. I'm just, you know, still yeah. waiting on that sign, Mac. Okay. Still, still waiting yeah. on actually, that handmade you, sign. We you actually don't want to see the state of the signs right now. Here's I, I the would love to. Okay, I started the signs like three months ago, actually. After we had that episode, I started the signs. I have yet to see them. Okay, here's the bench, pre-stained. Wow. Ooh, you built that? Yes, I built it. I found like a plan online, but then I just went. I bought the wood. I cut the wood up. I measured all the wood out. I cut all the wood up. Yeah. Came back to my apartment. I assembled it, and I'm about to stain it. Did you I, nail yeah, the wood you just it? described building? Did I what, Ashley? <laughs> Did you nail the wood? <laughs> described. No, I screwed it. Joinery. Did you saw it? I used a chop saw. Okay, just checking. She nailed uh, it. She screwed it. I actually it. snapped it with my hands. I measured, <laughs> and then I just... <laughs> just oh, a, man, a, real, a real high school old, hot older brother would, would do that. I don't know why I said high school. 
high yeah. school hot older brother. A real okay, high the school signs, hot older the brother. signs. You'd give it one big heel. You know, you like put it, you lean it against the ground in a hard heel. You know, yeah, with my boot. Wood? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guys, this bench, like things that are big and don't need to look pretty, are very easy for me. It's like it's like here's pieces assemble. Yeah, there's a, there's a dick joke in there, dude. Why do you need to do that? I'm really sorry. She's a high school student, Ashley. I'm I'm just a kid. She's just, she's just a I'm just a kid. Just I'm just a, a chill, handsome high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. But anyway, Actually, beep boop, beep boop, beep. My bad. Beep boop. My my bad, everybody. I started. Well, I actually got decently far on Elena's sign first. It looks away a certain way. It looks not away. how I meant. <laughs> I went in with my Dremel. You can perceive it. And. <laughs> Let's just say my hands aren't as steady as they used to be. What's a drum? It's like a small power tool, but essentially I was using an accessory piece on it that allowed for me to like almost carve electrically. I'm eating because I have shows right after this, and I won't have time to eat. So, I'm, if, if it's okay with you, can I grab a napkin? Uh, yeah, we'd yeah, prefer look, it like, actually. Currently, look at your fingers. Of yeah, course, please you wipe can your grab fucking a napkin. face. <laughs> Your hands. Wait, you don't like this? Don't. Pa- that's Ashley, Patreon only. Ashley. Blur Patreon that. Only. Danny, blur that. That's Listen, Patreon is only. This good, is this good for you? <laughs> oh, no. Guys, I think we should all get together and chop wood. I'm, no. I'm personally only using my heels. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a, he- I'm a one solid, give it a heel. Tell me, I think that content would perform phenomenally across all platforms. That's actually very true. That there's you've like, seen it, the wood chopping girl. I've right? seen the wood. Uh, it's hard to miss. She lives in it's BC. It's hard to miss. She lives in BC. Of course she does. She of listens co- to I, the other page. Uh, she listens to the other podcast. That woman. I need to collab with her. Her name's Nicole, right? Yeah. You want me to put you in touch? She uh, she she already follows me. Ashley, fuck off. <laughs> she follows me too. Wait, does she follow me? Probably. Probably. What's her name? Nicole, Nicole, I think. Damn, how do I get arms like this? Seriously, what the hell? You gotta chop Follow some back! Th- see, okay, she follows all of us. That's really nice. Damn. Yeah, she seems nice. She seems nice. <laughs> Anyways, What's that? do you guys What's have updates mean? besides my bench? I have an update. Ashley has two updates. Well, right this week I have one update. Oh, okay. I... Wait, what do you keep? Sorry, sorry. Just before we, before I lose this thought, you keep saying let's do some CPT. What does that mean? You've said it two weeks wow. in a row. I don't know what wow. it means. Wow, wow, ableist, Elena. You heard it here first. I'm sorry. I don't wow. know what it means. Elena is ableist. She has forgotten. Ashley, Ashley, no. I'm relax. here to learn. I'm here to don't learn. Don't exert yourself too much. Just take a breath. I'll explain. <laughs> Thank you. I, you're inspirational right CPT now. CPT is chronic pain talk. For oh, right. some people, Elena, oh, they right. have something called chronic yeah. pain. Some of us yeah. do have that. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. And so mm, what we like to do here it? is we like to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> can you see it? You want me to pull my pants down? Because I actually have something to show today. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's a different CPT <laughs> talk. Boop. A different type of CPT. <laughs> she was asking for it. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> she said, can you see it? All right. But yeah. uh, some CPT. Yes. I, for part of the reason I needed to take some to cool down my tour touring, mm-hmm. was because of this uh, related to my CP th- this CPT the CP of the CPT. Mm-hmm. I had a procedure done, so I went and now I have sp- money is a a touchy subject, but I have spent uh, an ass ton. <laughs> Wait, when did you have a procedure done? Did you tell us? I've had a few this she year. She never. But she didn't tell me. This is the update. It happened on Tuesday. Dude, okay. Why don't you text me and tell me so that I can because worry? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I um, went to the doctor. I have this great new doctor. Of course, this is out of pocket, mm-hmm. and uh, it's not covered by insurance for anyone. <gasps> when you said out of pocket, I thought like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, what are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. What's out of You're pocket? Like, this is out of pocket. 
<laughs> no, I mean like the American healthcare exactly. system or What's lack out thereof. Of pocket is the fact that it's out of pocket. That's out of pocket. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go so ahead. True. Wouldn't it be funny if I were like, this is kind of out of pocket, uh, out of pocket, but fuck disabled people. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> never seen it. Never I don't seen know about it. you, but I've never seen it. But I went to the doctor. They took my blood out of my body. They yeah. took my blood out of my body. And yeah. then they put my blood into a centrifuge and they spun my blood round and round at 7,000 revolutions per minute. They spun my blood. When I do Peloton, I can only really go like 120, 130 revolutions per You're minute. You're reminding me of a dungeon master right now. Like I a am. D&D dungeon master. And That's the me, voice. Trust me, they have, they have chronic pain as well. Okay, if you're doing Dungeons and Dragons, there's an overlap there with some <laughs> CPT. But I, I, and then they took it out and they put it back in a few times till they had my plasma. They had my mm-hmm. platelets and my plasma. And they took the platelets and they injected it into the places in my hip where I have um, oh. problems. And what it's going to do is, in addition to all of those platelets going to heal my body, it sends an inflammatory response to the rest of my body as well to send all the platelets there. So all my platelets mm-hmm. are just fucking running to my hip right now. They're just sprinting, getting to my hip to heat my body. My blood is going to heal my hip. Um, but it was super cool. I was not able to be on Advil for a week before, and I have to stay off of NSAIDs and Advil for a week after, which means I'm not working out as much, which is a bummer, and I'm in pain, um, mm-hmm. so I'm not sleeping as much, which is a bummer, so I'm like, a little bit on the the sads but m- uh, my life is good so it's not like it's not crazy or anything like that mm-hmm. and, and i'm very accustomed to it so i'm doing okay but hopefully within the next two to four weeks i'm gonna hear i'm gonna feel better um yeah that's fucking awesome and Plate yeah the rescue i'll let you guys know because i know people have the same thing as me or similar conditions i'll let you know how well it works for me and how yes, often our I have guinea to do pig it. and maybe if i figure out how to it's called get representation to... mac guinea, guinea pig representation is very important there's not enough guinea pig in media guinea pigs in media the guinea pig community they've been saying it for years and like um. finally <laughs> someone's listening but yeah so it's that's not exciting been easy, but it hasn't no. been horrible mm-hmm. um and uh i'll keep i'm i'm so nervous that it won't work that's yeah. the thing is like all of my hopes i did one other procedure in november that mm-hmm. didn't work for me i remember that um I and remember. that was awful because i <laughs> not only was it very very expensive and not covered by insurance but it was just more the hope that i was like gonna have some relief and it didn't work so hopefully i'll get some relief from this and mm-hmm. uh if this works it's just something that i do once or twice a year for the rest of my life um, and I'm looking very forward to it. <laughs> oh, okay. So out of pocket, two, if you ask me, two to three weeks. Out of pocket. And if you ask as little the as billing two, department, at your as local many hospital. as as many as four. Okay. Yeah. Man, did it hurt? <laughs> really? <laughs> like them putting it back in? Yeah, because they're going like they're going. They're taking that needle all the way to like close to ah. your joint. All right. So oh. it's really in there. Yeah, okay. And then you're really stiff. Honestly, he was like, this is really painful, like, you, but, like, you can take however many time and all, and, like, I know, like, he's, he works with athletes, so he was like, even athletes, they, like, pass out from this sometimes. And it was funny oh because, to me, it felt like a, me during a moderate flare. Yeah. I was like, this is nothing compared to the bowling flare of 2022. Yeah, you're like, yeah. been there, done that. Yeah, and, and then I was like, these men, these athletes that he's working with, yep. women have a better pain tolerance. We really do. Yeah. But we're forced to. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I wrote this joke, and I was shocked that no one else was doing this bit, but I wrote this bit on the plane today. I have this joke about men waking up hard and how yeah. crazy that is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you've heard it. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it. It's like my new favorite joke. And I was joking, like, if women woke up wet... <laughs> We'd be like, I got to call a doctor. Something's yeah, wrong something's with me. Something's wrong. And then I had this other thought. I'm like, if you wake up wet, that could be so many things. You're like, is it cum? Is it pee? Is it blood? I <laughs> hope it's blood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you're a woman, when you're a woman, you're literally like, I hope whatever that is, uh-huh. is blood. Blood <laughs> is the best case scenario. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, for vulvas. Yeah. For vulvas, that is a best case scenario because you're like, I hope it's blood so it's not a person. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. That's nuts. Anyway. That's true. That's my update. I'm a little bit. That's what you see if you come to the Ashley Gavin stand up show. I hope, I hope it's blood. I hope it's blood. I hope it's blood. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alina, do you have updates? I've just been I've just been in a school like black hole. Like it's like my whole life. Do you have a crush on anyone at school? Has been doing school and doing um this move, getting everything set up. A crush on anyone at school. No. Maybe a professor. Yeah, hot professor. Forbidden I, love. Okay, well, I do actually one of the classes that I'm in is a class on sex and gender and like it's literally a class about like kink and BDSM and non-monogamy like it's about sex therapy right and like my prof i am like can i work with you forever like how do i i'm literally gonna email (laughs) her i'm sure she gets lots of offers like that i mean this is her first time teaching this course i'm sure someone would like to be tied up with things to do (laughs) with that professor (laughs) no but i'm like i actually am going to reach out to her so I have to. We submitted one of our first papers recently, you submitted? and so I submitted to her recently, and so I have to wait to see if she tells me that I did good. Oh, oh, oh! oh. And do you she's... want her now? Wait, how badly? What are we talking about here? Because do you want to do good or do you want to do bad and be punished? Yeah, what do you want to do? No, I want to do good. So when I get my grade back for the paper, I'm going to see um how I do, and if I did good. Then I'm going to be like, hey, do you have any, is there any work in your lab? Can I come work in your lab? Well, this is very exciting. Very exciting. Do you think it, other people in the class have a crush on her? What is her vibe? Yeah, what's the vibe? <gasps> it's it, Her vibe is not what you would, exp- It it's not probably what you're picturing when I'm expressing the type of and work. Mean? I love like someone short and mean. I would say average height. S- small build but like strong like this is so inappropriate i shouldn't be she's my prof and i am you genuinely absolutely like you should be this is so inappropriate it is, i know i, I respect this right i respect <laughs> this woman i respect her work i respect the class that she's teaching she's doing an incredible job um and i oh someone's coming to pick up my desk yes i respect this woman and i think that yeah, the work she's doing is really interesting, and I would like to work on it with her. I'm going to be right back. Don't talk about me. Okay, we're definitely Doesn't not going to talk like about you. sound like the beginning of a porn? Yeah, Don't it does. talk about me. Dr. Knick. Knink? <laughs> Dr. Okay, Knink. Okay, now that Elena's gone, let's talk about this. She sounds hot. She sounds really hot. We love a good professor moment. We do. Did we you do. ever join a class specifically because you thought that there would be like cute girls in the class in college. I went to a women's college, so I forgot. Ugh. There were a lot Dude. of girls. Fuck um, you. That's awesome. I mean, I met my girlfriend in my psych class. She was the first cute girl I had in class with me. My not my current girlfriend, my old Jen. Gen the old one. Gen. Gen one. <laughs> I met Gen one in in psych class actually. The original prototype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I sat next to her. You know how you like when you're in class, like you have like seats that you always sit in. You don't yeah, want to sign yeah. them to you, but you like always sit there. They're low key. Yeah. Yeah. Like the seats got messed up. Someone took my seat. So I was like the seat next to the cute, you know, the cute girl, Gen 1. I went and I sat down next to her and it was just like instantaneous. I tell this story on the other podcast in one of the early episodes. Instantaneous chemistry. Like I wrote on her notebook. I was like, hi. Like Dude, in the middle of class. Dude, you're such a flirt. I am kind of a flirt. You're definitely a flirt. You just winked when you said flirt. <laughs> I don't I even think you know. I you don't knew that you did it. No, I did not. I think I blinked. But anyway, but we that's... can never tell Elena that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Elena. It, Max. Stop it. <laughs> How's it going? What I miss? I just talked, we just about, talked about Gen One in class and how Ashley's a flirt. Oh, I missed that. I want to hear about Ashley being a flirt. What's that? I want to hear about, about college being a flirt. crushes. Oh, no, 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 I just flirting's fun. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. You got to be able to turn it on and turn it off. Yeah. 
I'm personally hoping to make a lifelong friend. <laughs> that's, my, that's my goal in, in class. I'm like, I want to meet one friend. Oh, Elena, everyone wants to be friends with you. Is everyone staring at you still? No. What do you yeah, mean they are. staring at me? No. Like, that's Elena Joy. No. 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 Okay. That never. That was never happening. Should we go to questions? Let's do a question. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's saying, do I need to get over my fear of needles when Ashley was just talking about getting fully stabbed almost all the way into the hip? Yep, yeah, into the joint, I think, was some of the language that was used. Mmm, this is interesting. Me and my girlfriend, this is kind of exactly what I'm learning about in this class. Um, okay. Me and my girlfriend have completely opposite sex drives, mine being a lot higher than hers, and I understand her reasons behind it, like side effects of medication and stress right now, which should be sorted out within the next month or so. I'm just finding it hard to, I guess, tone it down with how horny I am and was wondering if you had any advice or tips because I really don't want it to affect our relationship. And sometimes I feel guilty for wanting intimacy with my girlfriend when she does too, but finds it hard. Got it. So um, disparity in sex drive. Do you want to do your academic answer? Because I have just like a really easy. This is going to sound like so stupid, but. I doubt are it. You ma- are you masturbating? I was about to say masturbate. <laughs> yeah. Like that's. Yeah. That's. um, That's like thing number one. Right. Yeah, but like I think if this assuming person. Assuming you don't cry when you do it. No. And I don't get the sense. It sounds like this person is wanting to take care of their own needs and probably is already doing that. But like also wants. um. The partnered sex. Do you want the ac- my academic kind I mean, of answer? I mean, I also have us. some personal answers, like, just around, like, you can have intimacy. First of all, you can have intimacy without sex. Mm-hmm. This That's where I was going to go. Yeah. Well, then I'll let you go there. But the other thing is, like, you c- the, is your partner willing to give and not receive? Like, that, I've been in relationships where the sex drive has been a little different, but, like, the partner is like, yeah, I want to have this time with you, and I want to be intimate with you, and I'll, like give it mm-hmm. but like i don't think like tonight's the night that i'm gonna receive but that's like another mm-hmm. option you know well it's like looking at sex as like a a menu right and and it doesn't have to be like we have this one definition and this is what it means when we and have i sex am and hungry this is how we do it and it's like right well and it's like someone's hungry and maybe the other person like could eat and you show the menu. The other person's kind of on the wait list yeah they're like well, you know i could go to that restaurant tonight sure maybe and you show them the menu and it's like, is there anything on the menu that you'd want? You know? Yeah. Yeah. But the question that I was going to pose. Including like kissing, cuddling. Yes. Spooning. Yes. Like total, not even appetizers, but amuse-bouche. Yes. And so the question I would ask is, what's the thing that you get out of partnered sex? Like, what's the thing that you're getting out of sex with your partner that Pussy. you're looking for? <laughs> Where you're like, I'm, you know, I'm horny. When you say I'm horny, I want to have sex. I don't know about, you know, my partner has Flimsy a low sex bits. drive. <laughs> Actually. I'm bad. I'm sorry. It's like, what? What's the thing that you get out of it? Is it connection? Is it an orgasm? Is it um, fun? Like, what? what's the thing that you are looking for out of that interaction? And then how, where are the other areas that you can get that same thing? Right. Mm -hmm. Because it goes back to your comment about masturbation. If you're going into it just because it's a physical sensation that you're looking for, you can do that for yourself. Mm -hmm. So there's something else. There's something else that you're looking for. And also, if you know what you're looking for, it's easier to have the conversation with your partner. Yes. Being like, this is what I want on the menu and here's why. Yeah. Yes. The menu was, um, this was uh, an analogy given by my prof. Where she said that like sex, sexy, sexy sex analogy. should be like a tapas menu, a tapas style menu where there's all these, there's all these small, like a, a mousse bouche style courses and you can pick whatever you want, have as much or as little as you want. And like, that's sex. And I, Charcuterie I was like, board. oh my God, that's, that's incredible. Whether you're queer, whether you're straight, whether you're yeah. whatever, I love this idea of sex being to get rid of these scripts of sex right of like this is what real sex is this is not real sex this is what we have to do in order for it to be sex to be able to like enter into those experiences and look at the menu and every single time ask decide what you want 
That's so exciting. It's also a great way to like keep it interesting to yeah. think about it that way. Yep. Like not just yeah. with sexual disparity, but like sometimes you're looking to like spice things up or do something different or maybe you've had the same thing to eat night after night after night because mm-hmm. that thing is so good mm-hmm. that thing is so good but then you do it all the time and you're like oh i'm kind of sick of that thing like what's let's, let's see what else is on the menu mm-hmm. and i think that's an area where queer people we kind of get inherently Excel. we get a leg up no because we kind no of have intended. to define kind of for ourselves <laughs> yeah we just like kill the game kind of low-key like there's not many things that queer people get to have that yes. like, we're winning. <laughs> we get the tapas style like, menu. <laughs> yes, we get the tapas style. I would like this to be ours. I think it is fully. Yeah. So queer people or straight people who are listening, just don't forget everything I just what said. What straight not for people you. that are, there's no one straight here. There. Ashley, Ashley we have we've been. talked about this. No, no, we don't, no. Straight people, we thank don't you for being want here. to <laughs> alienate <laughs> the straights. We love you, straight listeners. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I hope you help our. Di- I hope you find our discussions of queer sex helpful. I hope you help us. I hope you help us, straight people. <laughs> <laughs> we are gay, and we need a lot. We of help. need help, <laughs> just not with sex. We have no family. <laughs> We're all orphans. <laughs> Should we take another question? That was great. Yeah. Unless Mac, yeah, you didn't really. It. Mac, you didn't really say anything. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, You're just I don't starved. really get to have. You haven't sex even very seen a menu. So. You haven't seen a menu in weeks. You're yeah. like, I'll eat anything. Max, like, what's a restaurant? I <laughs> I live on the fucking prairie. Uh, the only yeah. the only shit that I get out here is stuff that I hunt and gather, and that's nothing. Oh, it's, it's gathering. Dead. It's gathering for sure. You gotta find those flimsy bits hidden in there. Oh. <sighs> Oh, question slash little game for the pod. Can oh. you guys make poems out of the letters in each other's names that describe that person? Not, absolutely not on the spot. This is something I'd have to sit down and write letters down. I would destroy and, you guys. Yeah, absolutely. But would. I would love to bring a poem to a future episode for each of you. <laughs> is that fucking along stupid with the that signs? I just said that? Along with the signs, Mac? Guys, uh... I'm trying, okay? It doesn't feel like you're trying. I don't feel it. And if I can't see it, I don't believe then in it. Then it's not there. Do you want to see what I have? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because if I show you, you'll know what it looks like when it's done. But it looks ugly now. Well, but so I want you to know that it's going to look good. We want to be a part of it. We want to be a part of the process. You guys are gonna let us in, it. Mac. Let us in a little bit. I'll post a picture on Patreon. Okay. Oh, Chosen Family. No, patreon.com slash Chosen Family Podcast. Oh, I had a falafel pita wrap. Oh my god, I want a falafel pita wrap. I think it was vegan. Well, not the feta. That's okay. I'll just have it without feta. What the hell? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I want. <laughs> you hit a really soft spot there. That's exactly what I That's want. That's what's on the menu? That's yes. Now, what is a falafel? Sexually, uh, what is a falafel pita wrap? Ooh. I know what a pita wrap is. <laughs> but a falafel, <laughs> in I'm not as sure. That sounds like stuffing some balls into a pussy. Yeah. Is I that what the, you want? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Can that be done? Listeners who um, are vulva to ball have uh, b- ball people. It would be hard. <laughs> that would be uh, that would be a task. Elena, will you ask your professor? I don't have yeah. to ask the professor. Balls are soft. <laughs> no, no, no. Please. No, just please. ask the professor, please. <laughs> just ask please. The Can we start I a new segment know. of the pod? <laughs> <Yes>. Ask the <laughs> professor. <laughs> Can you? And what question will we bring like, to Elena's professor? Can you How ask can the, I integrate it can naturally you ask the professor class? If, if she's into stepping on throats for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. But she probably supports it. Don't kink shame me. In whoever wants. I just said she probably supports it. Well, let's find out. I'm not going to ask my professor if she's into stepping on throats, Ashley. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Well, this one, did you see this one about cultivating healthy friendships? This new one? 
Yeah. How do you cultivate healthier friendships in person? I've come back from visiting friends I met on the other podcast Discord. Okay. What and other podcast me, Discord? I don't know what they're talking about. Made me realize <laughs> the friendships I've had previously haven't been that healthy. I struggle with being a people pleaser and changing myself to suit other people's needs. I'm working on it in therapy. Man, friendships are so interesting to me because I think everyone really has wildly different opinions on what constitutes like the way they want to hang out with their friends and what they're mm -hmm. looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that Jen, like she's always trying to make new friends. I really like admire her ability to make new friends. Um, whereas me, I'm like, I'm more of like a couple friends type of person. Yeah. Really close, really close with them. And as people go in and out of my life, I don't like super, um, I don't get super emotional about it. I just know that some people are there for a short time and other people are there for a long time and like yep. you know what i mean yep i'm the same way mm -hmm. um but i think like there's the act of finding friends and then there's the act of like knowing what you want out of a friendship yeah and they're like two different things but i think for finding friends first of all like you can meet people on a dating app for friendships when you're queer it's like totally. super you know and then a uh, super easy way to do do that but there's also like taking classes like in something that you enjoy like if you went to a bouldering class I feel like you're more likely to like because you like to boulder I feel like you're more likely mm -hmm. to meet people that at least on a baseline are going to be similar to you you know mm -hmm. what I mean yeah yeah Very shared true. interests that's a great place to start yeah um, and then yeah I think what you said about about trying to understand for yourself what you want out of a friendship is something that isn't often talked about because people make assumptions about what friendship means Mm -hmm. And as I've gotten older and I've thought more intentionally about my friendships, I realize that, like, I'm not the most social person. Like, I'm not the person that's going to see my friends a lot. I Like, I'm just not. And I have to be okay with that. And the people that I care about, like, the friendships that I have that are the most meaningful, the longest standing are the friendships that it's like, it doesn't matter how long it goes between us seeing each other. We yeah. just pick up where we left off. And yeah. that's just what works for me. And it doesn't work for some people and that's okay. And for the people that it doesn't work for, I it's still my responsibility to be honest and say, I can't meet that expectation. And if that means that, you know, we're not going to be in each other's lives in a really close capacity. That's sad, but I, I can't, I can't be that person for you. Mm -hmm. I think you just also have to have the self-confidence to know as you're meeting people, like this is going to be, it's a pro making adults, adult friends is a process that yeah, takes absolutely. time. Mm -hmm. And so like you're, it might take a while to like meet people that you want to hang out with often. And it's not a reflection you don't have to be hanging out with anybody. Yeah. If yeah. someone is like wronged you in some way, you can like slow fizzle that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you don't even need to have a conversation. You don't yeah. owe that to anybody. But also know that like as you're looking for new friendships, like it's it's probably just going to take a minute. You know. Well, and so the yeah. people pleaser aspect of it. Oh yeah. How, how do you Ashley? Like how do you how do you not lose yourself in mm friendship oh man i'm probably not the right person dude for this. you just can't settle like almost like you have to think you have to put the same standards in my opinion on making like good friends as you do when you're looking for a romantic partner like it's not the yes. same thing yeah but like the biggest thing that changed my friend game was not settling for like people that just didn't fit my standards like I didn't feel like they respected me or mm -hmm. like I didn't feel like we agreed morally on some stuff like things like that and I feel like mine might be different from your guys's because like when you're younger you like you're friends with more people I feel like because of school yeah and like all yeah. that shit and then you grow out of it and you're like realizing all that shit but like learning to not settle for people like if I'm around people that don't make me feel good I'm not going to be around them anymore like if I'm around people that it's just not flowing like I would rather be by myself frankly like and maybe that's just no, but, like and an that's introvert okay. thing 
but I think it's important to like yeah. try to be okay with that as much as you yeah. can. I'm not yeah. telling you to be alone, but like make it so that you're not relying on other people and like if it doesn't work out with them, you're screwed. Like yeah. make sure you don't need them. There's also categories of friendships. Like I have people mm-hmm. that I like see and get coffee with like just to catch up and like have like kind of like a very light conversation and then I have my like ride or dies that I'm like I tell everything I'm brutally honest with them they're brutally honest with me and Mm -hmm. you know we might even get into the occasional not argument but like you know like sticking point (laughs) beep up yeah (laughs) so like I think it's also fine to like downgrade some of these friendships Mm -hmm. If, if they're the type of person that doesn't make you feel good about who you are, Mm -hmm. but for some reason you also enjoy, maybe they're funny or something. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they have dad's credit card. I don't know why, (laughs) but you can download, you can downgrade the, the, the friendship. You can download dad's credit card information. (laughs) Get it. Get out. (laughs) You can steal their identity. It's no Um, big deal. It's no big deal, (laughs) but you guys get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yes. You can have different levels of friendships and you can, you can like, Different Maintain friends them can serve that different level. purposes. They can bring yeah. different things into your life. And if daddy's credit card is one of them, keep yeah. that friend close. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good... Yeah, I guess... I don't know. I feel mm. like... And also, like, I know for me, my best friends are comedians for the most part. And it's because we ha- we have this core experience in common. Yeah. We mm-hmm. need a place that we can talk about it. And frankly no one understands like content creators get it comedians get it but like my friends from college whom I love and see every now and then they even though I used to be much closer to them it's much more difficult for them to like first of all be on the same schedule that I'm on let alone understand like what I'm going through so Mm -hmm. it's okay to have these things shift and change I think we should do one more let's do it how do you deal with being rejected by a friend romantically and then as a result also end up losing that friend? So oh, this is kind oh. of because we've talked before about like, I'm in love with my fr- my best friend. What do I do? Mm-hmm. And we're like, you know, be honest, shoot your shot. Don't have expectations. Uh, don't yeah. be entitled. All of that stuff. OK, so now this person has shot their shot and the friendship is over because of it. What now? Bad job. <laughs> Good job, bad job. Yeah, you you should have done a better job. <laughs> yep. If you did a better it's job, you'd fault, be with actually. that friend today. Beep boop, beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's hard. That's really hard. Um, good for you for putting yourself out there. Yes, always shoot your shot. You did absolutely. the right thing. You absolutely, you absolutely did the right thing. Now you can move on faster. Otherwise, yes, you'd still be true. stuck in. Do they like me back, Limbo? Uh, Do so- they like me back, Limbo? It sounded like the, the name yeah. of the character was Limbo. Yep. Oh. Right um, in Limbo. Do they like right me in, back? Right, right oh, in Limbo. That's so cute. Yeah, I think like, yeah, you got your answer. It wasn't the one that you wanted. Mm-hmm. Now we move now forward. Now it's like recovering from heartbreak. Yeah, so how? Much. That's the question. How do I deal with it? How do I oh. deal with the rejection? How do I deal with this? Yeah, because you've now lost hope and a friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, the like, you should deal with this like you deal with any other breakup. Hang out with your other friends. Yep. Go to the fucking gym. <laughs> take a cold shower. Go bouldering. Take a cold shower. Yep. You know, like, and make sure that you're invested in your work and your family and all the things that you do have. Mm-hmm. You know, book out your schedule is the is the number one thing Stay that I busy. would say. The thing that helps is time. Yeah. So when you book out your schedule, you make time move faster, and that's why that works. Exactly. That's a great way of of, of putting that. It does make time move faster. Yeah. But also, like, this person might be your friend again one day. That's so, true. true. That's true. People after come in and gets, out of your life. After and you both get some space from it. As shitty as it is, it might be good that the friendship is taking a break. Like, yep. not necessarily true in all cases, but at least you know you have that opportunity for space so that you can, like, fully fully separate from them and not like have to be friends with them and see the person that you have feelings for Mm -hmm. and still be such a big part of that personally to me would be even harder than just the clean cut separation but i'm sure it's still very difficult obviously and it hurts yeah it does hurt you might even have a better friendship now 
because at some you, point in the future in the future because mm-hmm. it'll be a real friendship and not a oh i'm friends with this person because i'm secretly in love with them yes yes and like what's the alternative you know like really i want to drive home the you did the right thing like what was the alternative you just are in love with them forever in secret and you deserve better than that yeah yeah you deserve reciprocation yes you deserve to and be love. someone's hell yes. Oh, yes. God. The hell wow. yes conversation. The no, hell it's an yes. ultimatum reference. Back. I know. The, uh, the, the hell yes. I didn't on get the... it, but I wanted to hype you up. <laughs> all, that, all that hell yes talk on the ultimatum truly made me sick. I was like, Jesus Christ. Is this how people are talking? I sounded like an old oh, dad. So oh, so Is this how kids talk today? No, like the last episode before the reunion, this makes me sound heartless. I was fast forwarding. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't care about this, these declarations that are going to fall apart in two seconds. Yeah. Like, I don't want to do, ruin the outcome yeah, for no anybody. Yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. Here's a spoiler I will give that I don't think actually spoils. Mm-hmm. I was like, every single one of these couples needs to break up. It's a that's, nightmare. That's my personal spoiler. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually quite excited to watch. <sighs> it, All right, it, what do we have for dinner? Uh, falafel. Tapas, falafel, right? Falafel tapas. wrap. Oh, tapas, yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Falafel for- was on the menu, though. The well, one I so want to have it, have but it's want. not. It's not on my menu. There's no falafels here. It was on my menu, and now it is inside of me, which is really what we all want. <laughs> <laughs> Listener. Thanks for listening. Every Wednesday, join the Patreon to get priority on mm-hmm. your mm-hmm. question. Mm-hmm. Patreon.com slash chosen family podcast. Have a podcast. And we love and there you. There are bonus episodes there. Mm-hmm. And we're going we to record can't this one on ads alone. right now. And we love you. And we Elena's going to her Elena's going to give an update that is ex- exclusive. Goodbye. I, okay. <laughs> okay. Bye everybody. <laughs> Chosen Family is a Forever Dog production, hosted by Ashley Gavin, Elena Joy, and Mac Injimi. Edited by Danny Jewell, executive produced by Mariah Nicholas. Forever Dog Productions is Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Brett Boehm. Forever.